we reach at Hampi. It's a World Heritage Site declared by UNESCO owing to the ancient temple, forts and monuments. Hampi was the capital of Vijayanagar Empire around 1500 AD and by some accounts the second largest city in the world at that time. First place we visited here is the Virupaks temple. It is the main center of pilgrimage at Hampi and had been considered the most sacred century over the centuries. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva known here as Virupaks or Pampapathi as the consort of the local goddess Pampadevi who is associated with the Tungbhadra river. This is monolith structure of Kadale Kalu Ganesh is one of the largest statue of Lord Ganesh that exists in the southern part of India. City is located at banks of uh, Tungbhadra river. Nearby that you can also visit Hampi Bazaar. Today is the Shera and at Virupak's temple you can feel the festival vibes. Here is Sri Badavi Linga Gudi and beside that you will find a large statue of Lord Narsimha. These are monuments, UNESCO World Heritage Site. The entry fee is 40 rupees per person. And if you pay online, you will get 5 rupees discount. Here you will find uh, different monuments. Here is the Lotus Mahal. Elephant Quent. Prahati Shala. As guide said, this is the place where they keep their elephants. It's a nice place. We are going to Vijay Vitsala temple. It's uh, 1.2 kilometers from its gate. You can also take their uh, vehicle to reach there. Yes. This is Vithala Temple, also known as Vijay Vithala Gudi. It is dedicated to incarnation of Lord Vishnu. In the center of temple, you can see stone chariot. This is famous for its carvings. Uh, you can see different sculptures on the walls of the temple. It's uh, really beautiful. You can also find different events of Ramayana and the pillars of this temple. Famous Sargama pillars uh, 
currently it's under construction so we can't go inside but uh, you can see this beautiful carving here The temple is built in the Dravidian architectural style. No worship is offered at the temple now and there is no deity inside the inner sanctum. Now we are moving towards Anjanadri Hills which is also known as birthplace of Lord Hanuman. You have to take 535 stairs to reach at the top of Anjani mountain. From here you can visit Hanuman temple. You can see the beautiful view of Kishkinda known as Kingdom of Wali. also uploaded other video of my south india trip so go check it out and do like share and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos